Good evening, viewers, and welcome to tonight's edition of The Almost Delicious. I'm your host, Patrick. It's been a week since you've heard from me, and I know how that might have sent you into a frenzy. Well, if you're anything like my parole officer. Tonight, I take a slight break from Shush to focus on serious news. It's almost mid-year, so I felt like it's my duty to report the status of our country to our nation. On Tuesday, the office of the Prime Minister announced that PM Barrow will be leaving the country for an entire week for medical purposes. Luckily, before he left, I had the pleasure of having an extended question and answer session with him to get answers for the pressing issues that are on everyone's minds. We'll now have questions from members of the media. Hey, morning, morning, everybody. Oh. <laughs> uh, morning, morning. Uh, um, good morning, Prime Minister. Hello. I am Patrick, <laughs> and I am here representing the Almost Daily Shush. I have a few questions as I'd like to ask you. Um, now, some people are pleased that the government has decriminalized small amounts of marijuana. But we know the next big political decision will be the question of full legalization. Can you assure us that when the government conducts its education campaign on legalizing marijuana, that it won't be biased? Let me offer an assurance that the education campaign, as I said uh, during my introductory remarks, is not to try to persuade people to the view of the government. It is to arm them with all the facts so that they can come to their own decision. I see. <laughs> and in determining government's position, did you factor in the current cabinet ministers who use marijuana? No, that, that, that played no <laughs> role at all. Okay, okay. Um, just to put this out there, uh, a, a few years ago, I was charged for having just a small joint in my position. Why couldn't decriminalization have been done from, you know, back when you had first took office in 2008? Well, you see, <laughs> no doubt this is your responsibility as a journalist, perhaps your reason for being. But Lord, man, instead of commending the government on doing something that you clearly think is a good thing, however late the decision is, you take us to task for the fact that it hasn't been done before. I see. <laughs> Moving on now. Okay. Is it true that Mark King will be vying for leadership of the UDP when you depart? I really was I expected that question. <laughs> but, um, any comments, sir? Your, your, you know, allow me to, sure. to finish. Of course, <laughs> we are disappointed. Anasan. And if he is allowed to contest the position and somehow pulls off the win, what would you have to say about it? I will tell you, it is the considered and strong and fervent view, position of the cabinet that it would be a tragedy. <laughs> I certainly would be prepared to condemn it. All right, all right. Um, would you prefer Zenaida Moya over Mark King as party leader? <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that answer enough? I am not the only one who go for the entire room. You must know that I, <laughs> I would never, even if I did, to myself, I would never say that publicly. I'm sorry, sir. I see, indeed. Um, Prime Minister, do you regret allowing those two individuals to enter the UDP? I mean, we all know the reputations they have crafted. Whatever blame you or anyone else would wish to ascribe to me, I am able to, 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 to deal with it. <laughs> indeed, indeed, I, I see. Um, Thank you. Um, now, this one is a little personal for me. You see, I met the love of my life at a, at a karaoke bar about six months ago. We're in love and I want to marry her and make her a Belizean citizen. 
Is this possible? And as leader of our lovely country, would you support my doing so? It would be a tragedy <laughs> if Guatemalans who marry Belizeans and who come here and who make their home with their husbands or wives and again participate actively and fully and loyally in nation building in this country were to be told you can never become Belizeans. It is simply trying to uh, honorably deal with an obligation that has already accrued. All right, thanks. Uh, I appreciate your support for that one. Okay, um, for my last question, sir, um, is it true that employees of the National Bank have been spending an unusual amount of money at Victoria's Secret? <laughs> Any idea why that is? It seems that the bank does a lot of business with people in the adult entertainment <laughs> industry. An industry by, of which I know only by, by <laughs> reputation and, and reportage. Um, much appreciated, Prime Minister. Thanks, Thanks everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks a million, PM, for your very frank remarks. I can't wait for another opportunity to have a sit down with our leader. And I just need to say, I'm kind of nervous. I kind of people may watch me as if I'm the acid prime minister foolishness. <laughs> I look like I'm a clung to, no? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, viewers, that's it for tonight's news. We go for a short commercial break and return with the Royal Foreign News Report by Patrice. Good night, viewers. Welcome to tonight's edition of Foreign News. I am your host, Patrice. You might have been wondering where I was on Tuesday, and I am proud and delighted to inform you that I was out of the country. Viewers, last week they fly me to England to attend and report on the royal wedding between Prince Harry and his lovely fiancée, Meghan. I have a lovely Lee mini documentary for sure you now. But before I start, you don't know how much stress I had to go just to get there. First, I had to catch one of Elo's bus to the Chetomal Bula. <laughs> that take me nearly seven hours to stop stop like bread cat. <laughs> and put me in our bad, bad mood. I feel like my back me had drop off. Chetomal to Cancun never so bad. But you know, no said the producer put me on a flight for the body pass. So I was stuck in Cancun for almost two days. <laughs> and through all of that, I saved $60. Aye. Anyway, here is my special report. I hope you enjoy. <laughs> Hello, Belize. This is Patrice. Coming to you from inside Windsor Palace. The Prince and Duchess both they arrive and start off a spectacular wedding. And I am from Belize, but I don't know Crofy. So I don't come with me two empty hand. I bring my lee gift for them. <laughs> Anyways, time for a hurry go outside to watch the arrival. As you can see, the guests they arrive now, lone celebrity. We have Oprah, her heart wilder than the was only. <laughs> David Beckham and his wife, they can make the walk run like the Fihi wedding. He not even followed the dress code. Serena Williams and her husband. I think Oprah thief the rest of she hat. <laughs> and maybe it was a boy. I need no. George Clooney and his wife. Wow, even Elton John show up. I hope the man bring a piano. James Corden, I don't even know who he is, but he look potent too. And look, Mr. You Are Beautiful himself, 
James Blunt, Fox, this guest list, the lone billionaire. Obviously, I'm a really normal billionaire. <laughs> As you can see, the Duchess just arrived in a taxi. Personally, if that me, me and I'm a royal, I may want to show up in our helicopter for a spaceship. By the way, if you look good, you could see me right in the corner. The 17 person in the eighth row on the left. Mother years, these are the longest frack I ever see. <laughs> My car almost charged that for that clock length. Definitely lovely though. Ah, the prince took clean nervous. He could have me shave up a little bit more. Probably the nervousness though. Never want to cut his head by mistake. If you listen close enough, you could hear the angels they sing. When I'm a married heartens, the singer we hired me song like she the squeal. So you know then your people have good thing for this royalness. Hmm. Look, man, the royal floral girls, no, sir? I think they banned in your picnic just for this particular moment. <laughs> One of my favorite parts of the wedding was when the bishop started his sermon. This way of love, it is the way of life. They, they got it. He died to save us all. He Imagine our homes and families when love is the way. Imagine when love is the way, we will let justice roll down like a mighty stream and righteousness like an ever-flowing brook. The earth will be a sanctuary. When love is the way for all of God's children. When love is the way, we know that God is the source of us all. And we are brothers and sisters, children. Old Solomon was right in the Old Testament. That's fire. Based on the crowd reaction, this is clearly the first time they see a black pastor in a real life. <laughs> and finally, my big moment. I had the honor of delivering a quick speech to the soon to be Mr. and Mrs. Mr. Harry and Miss Megan, who don't know that entering into marriage is a serious business, right? <laughs> and it's much more important to be a loyal couple than a royal couple. <laughs> when I decided to tie the knot with me good, good heartings, we may both feel no age, and I was say, marriage no easy at all, at all. <laughs> Sometimes you wonder, who this person where can I even wash up your own dishes for <laughs> sheer reasons? Well, Uno might not have that problem with Uno to any maid, but for me and her things, it may rough. But we found power through our vows, which reminded us that we have to stick it out through thick and thin like tamarind juice. <laughs> and that quitting is for losers uh, people who want to pay maintenance. I <laughs> don't know that at all, at all. I wish you no help, love, and a lot, a lot of happiness. Congratulations. The crowd never seemed to please with my speech. Watch their face, no, sir? <laughs> and then, the mushy, mushy moment that everyone made a wait for. Yep, the England couple just do the French kiss. <laughs> that make me lee heart melt. After the official ceremony, the new Mr. and Mrs. and about 20 Roman Empire chariot parade through the street <laughs> of England, racing thousands and thousands of fans. I may get lee jealous though, but when me and heart ends me married, we only had two lee mule for Mr. Ramsey, and only for we seven picnic me the chair. That the royalty though. <laughs> and at last, I will leave Uno with a lee scene from the reception. Prince Harry made a go off, folks.
But as you know, all good things must come to an end. So goodbye from Windsor Castle. Oh no like that. Sorry, but I never get no chance to take no picture. But for the official dinner, you know them people serve every single guest a whole roast turkey. I never yet see anything so fancy before. I had to pull out my file paper and wrap up some for bring back home. But do you know them people and take it to that airport? Patrick, I mean I had lunch for two weeks. Anyways, a time for readjust to regular life back here in Belize. Thanks for tuning in viewers. Kindly stay tuned as we go for a quick commercial break. and welcome to this week's edition of The Weekend Vibes. I'm your host, Tamar. As usual, I'm here to let you know of the hot parties, events, and even road trip ideas that you can take on this weekend. After starting off with a big bang, May has certainly calmed down a bit, and this weekend is evidence of that, with not much events on the calendar. In Belize, typically when we think of big fun, we always think about clubbing, house parties, and even fun trips to the beach. But the hottest thing happening this Friday is Game 1 of the National Elite Basketball League Finals. The two Belize City basketball teams, Smart Hurricanes and Digital Defenders, will be jostling for the crown and it takes place at the Belize City Civic Center. The finals will be best of three, with each game taking place on consecutive Fridays starting tomorrow, as I had mentioned. If I were you, I would get my tickets early. Next up, on Saturday the 26th and Sunday the 27th, you can look out for Sun Hill Village Life 2018. There will be cricket and softball matches, games for the children, domino matches and great food and drinks. And the party gets even hotter in the night with Super G and the X-Band and others performing live. Since this week isn't loaded with activities, a good option is a date night or a family outing to a nice eatery. One of the newest and tastiest options in Belize City is Mimi's Bistro, located across from the Anglican Cathedral Church on Albert Street. I recommend their pasta. And if you are in Belize District and want to try somewhere new outside of the city, a great option is Rustic Corner, located on Paris Road in Ladyville. In addition to tasty food and a water view, enjoy live karaoke during the night. Other fun family options for this weekend include lunch and swimming at Old Belize, a quick key trip to Key Cocker or San Pedro. You can even consider being spontaneous by going to Orange Walk for some tacos or Cayo for the best tamalitos or down south for some sandy beaches and calm ocean breeze. And if you decide to stay home and watch your favorite shows, remember that you can visit our Facebook page, Colorblind Multimedia, to rewatch your favorite episodes of this almost daily shush. I strongly recommend that one. Well, like I said, this weekend is a slow one, but next weekend should be more loaded, so tune in when I return next Thursday. Until then, be safe and have an enjoyable weekend. Thanks for joining me. Patrick, back to you. My lovely viewers, we have come to the end of our show for tonight. But we will be back next Thursday, May 31st at 8 p.m. Be sure to take a look at our previous episodes and the behind the scenes footage by following us on Facebook and Instagram at Colorblind Multimedia. You can give us a like and please leave your comments. And if you're vexed about something, you have shush or know something that was nearly the news, send us a text or a WhatsApp message to our shush hotline at 636-8836. I'll be looking forward to your submissions. But until next time, good night.